Hey y'all, today we're going to be doing this pretty jewel princess look. I'm going to be using the new rainbow cake from Tag called Warrior Princess. So first I've just loaded up all of the colors onto my half circle fantasy worldwide sponge and then starting with the green at the top of the center of my forehead I will pat and rotate it around to make sure I get all the colors on there really well. And I just gave it an extra spritz to make sure that I got that gold blended in there with the metallic burgundy. It's such a beautiful blend of colors. And next to go over the eye area, I'm going to be using an Always Wicked Petal Sponge and I'll start with the metallic green in the inner corner of my eye and then just pat in a butterfly wing shape. And next I'll add some Diamond Effects White line work. I'm using a number three low Cornell round brush. So I'll just pull a loop around and pull in a series of teardrops toward the outer corner of the eye and do the same thing on the other side. So pull one loop around and then with a tip and then a loop facing the opposite direction and a series of teardrops coming into the inner corner of the eye. And now at the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to make some various shaped dots. You just want to make sure your brush is really well loaded in order to make these great dots that way. And I'll also come to the outer corner of the eye and add in a series of larger to smaller dots coming inward. Next I'll go above my eyebrow and pull in a series of three long teardrops with the tails facing toward that center focal point right at the top of the bridge of my nose. And to give all of the line work some extra depth, I'm going in with some Krivelin Creamy Rose on a number one liner brush. And I'm just going to give all of the teardrops and swirls a quick outline. This color works really, really well with this rainbow cake. Tag Berry Wine would also be a very similar color to this Krivelin Creamy Rose. So I'm just going to go in with some more of that Krivelin Creamy Rose on my number one liner brush and just continue to outline everything and just try to make it symmetrical on both sides. So for the larger series of teardrops, I'm going to go in first and just outline the edges of all of them and then I'll come back to the tops and just pull them up to a point just to give them a little bit of extra interest. And I'll also go in and put some of that same color alternating between the white dots in the design. And next I'm going to apply a gem cluster that I created. If you want to learn how to make these really pretty gem clusters, be sure to check out my other video on building bling the easy way. It's so fun and so simple to do this, so I'm just adhering it with the Maron Add Gem Adhesive. And next, to fill in some of those empty areas, I'm going to go in with a free stencil that I got from the facepaintforumshop.com and some Paradise White on my sponge just to make some subtle little dot patterns there in the empty space. I'm going to do this on both sides and then I'll come up to the very top of the green area and do the same exact thing. And this is totally super optional, but I always like to finish off my pretty mask designs with some black eyeshadow. So I'm just going around the outer corners of the eye and adding some black eyeshadow and a thick coat of black mascara as well, just to finish off the look. And then I'll use some of that pretty metallic burgundy from the Warrior Princess cake to fill in my lips. And then I'll use some of the metallic gold from the cake as well in the center of my lips and then just press them together and it all blends together really beautifully. And that's it. That's the finished Jewel Princess look. I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.